Welcome everyone. Today's journey finds us a little bit outside of Bangkok. We're at the border between Cha Chang Sao and Samat Prakan, which is about an hour outside of downtown Bangkok. But we're gonna check out Talat Klong Suwan Nungroi Pi. What does that mean? Well, it's the 100 years market. And it's pretty cool. It's a uh, little area and we can see how the Thais live. It's not a touristy spot at all, just where the local Thais go and spend their day. So join me, let's go check it out. All right, so here we are. We're inside the market itself. Now it's a long skinny market built right along the canal. And it has some of the old style Thai houses that are kind of fronting on the backside here. And that's where they originally set up their storefronts and now they've kind of built onto the, the, walk path, or the walkway here. But anyway, this is really cool. Now, this is definitely off the beaten path. So if you're a tourist, you're not gonna pop in here unless you make it a direct, or like a, a point to come here and check it out. So this is just a local market here for the Thais. So they have everything from home utensils, to clothes, to cook stuff, and just everything that they need for their daily life is going to be here in the market. Plus all the snacks and everything else that all the kids will need. and in order to entice them to go out shopping with the parents. So let's see what we see. This is really cool. Now, you can't smell it, but you can smell somewhere. There's a bakery somewhere nearby and it smells just delicious. I'll have to find it and get me a couple little snacks. So you got a lady here. She's making her some, uh, some of the fried bananas, the goi young, and she's got some little snacks inside there in the hot pot. Mm, very nice. Some drinks, some coffee. Now this is really nice to see after uh, all the lockdowns and closures that we've had, that there's actually people out and about. And if you're strapped for cash, come right here and you can pawn some gold. So you can go in there and get what you can get out of your favorite bracelet and continue your holiday. And if you look at a pawn shop, they always have this right here. And it'll tell you the price of gold for one bot. And that's the, uh, I know it's the currency, but it's also the what they figure their gold in. Thai gold is a little different. It's, uh, I don't know, it's really kind of strange to describe. It's like has a different color to it and they, they weigh it a little way different than the West. But they measure it in the, cur or the unit, which is the bot. Sorry, cap. Some little crepes. If you need a toy, they got it here. And believe it or not, these are oranges. I know they're a little green, but they're still an orange. Some apples, sorry, cap. Sabai di mai? Ah, di mak. Nice old lady there. I asked her how she was. She said she's ha she's fine. Some little fish balls and stuff. I don't really care for those, so I'm not going to partake. Now on the canal, you can take a boat. They have these long cow boats that have like an old Toyota motor in them. And it has like a long propeller sticking out of the back. And you can ride up and down the canal on one of those. And are they loud? <laughs> I'll have to figure out how much they are and take a look maybe a little bit later. Some really nice canome, some snacks here. Some little rice or sesame seed sticks. These are quite nice, very, very good. 
One of my favorite is these little, like a wafer that has the peanuts. It's like a roasted peanut inside. Looks like some figs. Some house plants. Over here looks like some honey. Yeah, you can get this big bottle of honey right here for six dollars. That's the price of that. Or get a smaller one here for four dollars. Actually, looks like about the same size, but it's Honey Queen, a little different company. Those boats are quite loud. It would be it'd be nice if you live next to the canal and got to hear that all night, every night, huh? <laughs> but I think they probably close down. When the market closes up, they probably uh, go home and, and get a little bit of sleep. All right, I had to stop and show you this. This is an old style barber for sure. So you can get in here, get your ears lowered a little bit, and you'd have to get him to stop watching some volleyball, but he'd be happy to cut your hair. Very cool. I don't see any prices, but it can't be more than a couple dollars for a man's haircut. So inside the little market, they have a museum kind of showing you the 100 year history of this, this market and the surrounding community. Some pretty cool stuff here. They have a little, little model of what the town used to look like on the canal. Kind of cool to think about the area and how it's kind of changed over the years. And then they got some of the old products that they used to sell. Anybody that likes antiques, this would be really cool for you. Old lanterns, some old tea set. It's kind of dusty because it's just out in the open where you can come up and touch and feel it if you want. An older picture of King Ramanai. like back in there is where you go into their house we won't go back there we'll let them we'll let him be all right let's get some fish So if you feel brave enough, come here and buy a couple little of the sunfish. She'll be happy to sell them to you. Looks like she's taken uh, some of the fresh coconuts, shave it, and then has a little uh, little sweet on the inside. Looks like the lady back there is cutting the coconut. more of the snacks here those will be super super sweet the sauce on the inside will just be like pure sugar so if you have any kids definitely uh, let them eat a bunch of those about nine o'clock at night I'm sure they will be happy to go to bed right away some more of the little snacks if you seen my Hyohin video you saw these already the kanom croat, which is like the little, uh, like a coconut pancake. Very, very tasty. But you can get eight pieces of those for about a little bit less than a dollar usually. So I have some duck here. That's duck that's been soaking in the uh, soy sauce. You can get all the innards of it. This looks pretty popular. There's a lot of people that are wanting to get the duck. Over here they have the bot mei, they have some noodles, 
They have a bunch of different stuff. Let's go over the canal. All right, so this little bridge we're crossing separates some upper Khan from Cha Chung Sao. So we just went from one town to the next, just like that over the canal. And it feels so much different to be in another town. Guy making some of the little homemade crepes here. More freshly cooked duck. Today, today is not too hot, but it's still so hot that you're gonna be soaked to the skin in about 30 minutes of walking around. So make sure you drink a lot of water because otherwise you will pass right out. Right there, that's their poster. Definitely a trustworthy guy. And as you can see, the old style houses are really, really cool. Now, it took about an hour to get out here. And what's the easiest way to find this market? Probably to take a taxi. I would say take a taxi and tell them the 100 years market and they will bring you out here. And then you'd have to tell the driver to wait for you while you shop. And it wouldn't be too bad. It would probably be, I don't know, maybe like three or four hundred baht each way probably so like nine to twelve dollars for the driver to bring you out here and you could shop check it out get you some uh, coffee get you some food on the river whatever you wanted to do and then go back but definitely i would say if you wanted to if you had an afternoon to spare come out here and check this out or do something early in the morning before you know if you had a flight out late in the evening yeah definitely worth definitely worth it to come check it out All right, so which one of these would be the best? Oh, so do I look like I'm from Vietnam? <laughs> or I could go with the, uh, the Thai like groundskeeper look here. All right, that looks good. That looks almost like me. I think I'll have to stick with my, uh, my baseball cap. All right, so down at this end of the market or kind of in the middle of it anyway, this is the favorite section for the ties. There's all the snacks, all the drinks. They can come in here, get something to eat. Food is such a part of Thai culture. It's so important. It's so important that like a, like a polite way to greet somebody is to ask them, have you eaten yet? They'll ask you gin cow, which means have you eaten? And it's like really meaning like, have you eaten rice? Because that's like a huge staple of their diet. So gin cow, have you eaten rice yet? And I got noodles. Oh, this is really cool. So I have a Michelin man on the front of my motorcycle. So this, this guy here is a little bigger than Marco. That's the name of my Michelin man. But he's my good luck charm. He rides with me everywhere I go. And thus far, he's kept me safe in all of Bangkok's traffic. So that's probably one of his long lost cousins that's found enough to eat because he's a little bit bigger. Another pawn shop and some jewelry.
little sleepy cat. Some old style markets here. Definitely been here for the, the hundred years of this market. Some garlic, some chilies. Yeah, this is definitely just a local market where they can come and shop. It just happens to be right next to the canal. Swadikap. And it's, since it's Thailand, you still got a sleepy dog here. So separating the Klong or the canal from one side to the other is this kind of rickety old bridge. I would not recommend coming up here. There's some uh, loose rails, the boards are a little loose, but but hey, you get you from one side to the other and it beats swimming, right? Just don't fall in. That would kind of spoil your whole vacation. But you might be able to catch you a fish. All right, so let's go into the market itself. How do you make these? Um, uh, food in Thai. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, purple, uh, butterfly fish. Uh-huh. Uh, Elena? ไฟพุทธไทยนิดหน่อยตัวตาไทยได้ <laughs> There goes one of those boats again. All right, with it being so hot, you're gonna get a nice little drink here. So this is. 25 baht for a Nam Dang Soda, which is a little better price than Bangkok. You get these for about 30, 35 baht in Bangkok. So a little bit less than a dollar. Get a nice lemon, like a cherry lemony drink from a nice lady here. And you can rock out to some Thai music. Some Luke Toon, which is like the Thai country music. And you can see up above, they have the little shutters for the bedrooms and stuff. So you can open them up. They've added some air conditioners to some of these, it looks like. Mr. Slim air conditioner. All right. Cup on the cup. All right. Take a look at how it is here. Oh, very nice, very nice. All right, let's continue. All right, that's gonna close us up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more, find something to eat, spend the rest of the afternoon down here on the canal. All right, and as always guys, if you liked the video, click like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. Subscriptions and sharing does me the most good because it helps me spread the word and continue to make these videos. So as always guys Life is a journey. Enjoy <laughs>